Four quarterfinals coming up this weekend. Rugby League World Cup starting Saturday morning. This is all NZT. 8.30 Saturday morning, Australia versus Lebanon. And then you've got Sunday morning, we small hours, England versus PNG. Us versus Fiji, 8.30 Sunday morning. Tonga versus Samoa, what a matchup that is. 3.30 Monday, and this is all on Spark Sport, of course, so you can't watch it unless you want that. Like Steve Price, assistant coach of the Kiwis, joins us. Excitement building. We're only a couple of days away, mate. Yeah, we certainly can, Martin. It's, um, you know, we've been going at it for a couple of weeks now, and, you know, um, you know the boys are building nicely in, into the uh, from the pool games uh, and uh, this is where the business and the the, uh, the tournament starts hopefully starts to uh, come into fruition we've got a, um, a quality team this week in Fiji who um, who have been playing some good footy in their pool games so um, as have we and you know we're excited for the challenge this week yeah, and 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 what what are their main threats? Do you think? And let me remind everyone that you know don't look and 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 hear the word Fiji and say, oh, okay, this is a walkover. Twenty seventeen proved anything other than that. So so where are they dangerous? Yeah, they're a quality team. Um, you know, they've got a number of NRL players in their team, and you know they're you know they're coming off the back of you know a fantastic left edge back row, and um, you know Willie Kickow and. Um, you know they got Sivo on their on their left wing. They got uh, Brent Wakeham, and um, you know in the halves he's, he's played a fair bit of first grade with Canterbury, and a number of first graders in their pack. So um, they're playing a good style of footy. Um, you know they're c- competing really hard, and um, they're gonna, certainly going to bring a lot of energy, um, you know, to the contest uh, from the outset. So uh, it's important that we match that early, and you know we play the uh, the style of of Kiwi footy, what the guys have been playing uh, really well for a number of weeks now. Steve Price, assistant coach of the Kiwis. All right, explain that to us. What exactly do you mean by that style of footy and, and, and what do you want to see in terms of the way the team plays? Oh, we want to be really strong defensively. We want to, you know, be really intimidating through that middle third with high-pressure uh, line speed and, you know, effective tackle control and, you know, smart decisions on an edge. So if we get that right, that will flow into our offence and, you know, we've got a, you know, a pretty mean forward pack there who, you know, a fast and agile and cover the ground really well. So um, if we can play, you know, a flat and fast style of footy and, um, you know, with some good decision-making off the back through, uh, you know, Jerome and, and Dill Brown and, and Joey Manu and Foz, um, I'm sure we're going to be hard to handle. So um, the start of the contest is really important, um, you know, this weekend. So, um, you know, that's been, a, that's been a big focus of ours. Big buffer forward pack, monster forward pack, and yet the Australians have opted sort of perhaps a little bit less size in terms of fleet of foot running it sideways a bit more, just being a bit more clever on the ground. Is that something that you've thought about as well, or is it just, hey, this is our personnel, this is the way we got to play? Yeah, it's more so what, you know, uh, Michael Maguire thinks, our, our coach who, um, you know, we're, we're, we're pretty fortunate that we've had, you know, majority of our forwards who have been you know, some of the best players in the NRL this year and been really consistent. So, um, you know, we feel that's one of our, our strengths and our backbone and, um, you know, we'll u- utilise that. So, um, you know, we're certainly not, you know, thinking about, you know, the Aussies. We, you know, we're more concerned about what we do well and um, and, and how we're going to... Uh, you know, rep- replicate a strong AD performance this weekend. How easy is, is, is it not, or is it not, to get distracted by the other teams, the way that they're playing and thinking, oh, okay, potentially if we win this, we've got another opponent there. Is it tempting to look that far ahead? I mean, it, just as a human, it probably is, but I suppose you've got to then discipline yourself and go, no, 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 lads, it's only about this game. Oh, I can certainly um, vouch that the coaches. is... Um, you know, certainly not looking too far ahead this weekend. We, you know, our, our main focus is Fiji. Um, you know, and that's all we've been worried about this week. We're not even looking past, you know, nine thirty Saturday night. It's all about seven thirty um, Fiji at um, MKM Stadium, and it's about going out there and playing a, you know, a hard game of, you know, style of Kiwi footy, and um, and, and and keep growing our game. That's that's our most important focus. You know, if you get caught up in you know, the outcome, that's where, you you know, you can come unstuck. So it's all about, you know, what we can do well and all about, our you know, our principles and 
and sticking to our systems, which, um, you know, the boys have been, you know, really solid, um, you know, at for the last couple of weeks. Steve Price, assistant coach with us, just to let everyone know, uh, you're working alongside Craig Fitzgibbon there at the Sharks, obviously assistant under Madge here, but you coach the Dragons yourself in the NRL and then a Waddington for three years in the Super League. So my question being is, what are, what have you learned about playing in England and how different is it, that, you know, if, everything to do with it playing up there? Yeah, it's certainly different, Martin. Um, you know, I'm loving my time working with Fitzy at the moment at the Sharks. and um, But my time at Warrington was um, a great experience for myself and my family. And um, the style of footy is totally different to the NRL. It's um, some some aspects that can be a bit quicker than some aspects, that, uh, you know, it can be, you know, you know, slower around the ruck too, if that makes sense. So interpretation... Um, you know, within the referees are, is, is quite different to what we have back home in the NRL. So it's taken a number of, you know, teams a bit of adjustment in regards to that, um, you know, how they officiate the ruck and what the referees look for as opposed to what the NRL guys look for. So, you know, that's something where, you know, we're still, you know, growing and, and coming to terms with. So um, I'd like to think we'll be better, you know, with the experience we've had over the last couple of weeks. Yeah, so just give, can you can you give us a little bit more about that refereeing, just some of the interpretation. So if you know, people who are watching it and look 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 for a a particular something that stands out. Uh, you know, because the game's slightly different over in you know Super League down the road, they you know the the referees, um, you know, for example, market play maybe you know refereed a little bit different to you know what they do in the NRL and. Um, you know, the uh, uh, interpretation of the 10 metres, the play the ball, how you, uh, you know, the roll ball with your foot. So um, if we can look for, a, you know, a slight advantage in, in that regard, then, um, you know, it's certainly going to benefit us this week. Jared Wadia Hargraves gets one game. Uh, Brody Retallick, uh, the All Black lock, gets a couple. Perhaps it could even be three weeks for what he did in Japan. Um, on the surface, it looks like you know uh, Jared's headshot. Do you think that deserves more, and do you think that the, the, you know, that the actual sport is doing enough to look after the health of the players when you get a hit like that? He only goes for a week. Oh, I only could speak on you know uh, for myself from you know what I thought of the uh, the incident, but you know I love Jared how he plays the game. He you know he plays it plays it hard. And, you know I love those type of plays in in, in my football teams, but. I honestly felt it, you know, come off the shoulder and and, and it slipped up. Um, I, I honestly felt the, the initial first part of his um his arm was around around the shoulder. So, um, you know, as as a you know young parent, um, you know you don't like seeing you know head knocks, you know people, you know getting taken off in in the game. But um, yeah, I thought you know most probably it was you know warranted maybe one week, but. You know, it wasn't. You know, it, it wasn't initial contact, first contact around the head. So, I'm um, Jared to cop the week, and then, um, you know, hopefully, can get back going the following week. Look, I, I asked that because you know it's obviously a continuing issue with concussion and CTE uh, with past players, and that, and you know, I'm sure that there are people that you've played with, you know, who are probably suffering at, at this, you know, now and later in life and things. Only because yesterday, New Zealand rugby. I don't know whether you know this or not, but next year in the community rugby, the school kid rugby, uh, age grade rugby, and they're trialling a thing now where it's going to be you tackle below the sternum, and I, you know, I wonder whether eventually in rugby league. I mean, I, I love the big hits like you do, mate. I mean, there's nothing better than watching some big big man running towards other big men and it's just a, it's just a car crash collision but at the same time you know you, you do wince and cringe when you think oh my god hopefully this is going to be okay later in life do you know what I mean? Yeah I get that and I you know I understand where the game's going you know going um, but you know I'm only speaking for myself I, I love the competition and um, you know the personal competition what this game's produced over you know 120 years of the game so um, but you know the way you know life is at the moment. Yeah, we've got to be, you know, smart and cautious of, you know, down what what happens down the track. So I'm not sure how they're going to um, interpret it hitting above the sternum. It's going to be quite difficult for the referees yeah, to maybe yeah, educate sure. that. But um, yeah, there's a lot of changes in the game and putting more pressure on the referees, which you know I certainly don't envy those guys. So, um, but yeah, we, you know we've got to find a middle ground, I suppose. Yeah. 
All the very best for the weekend. Um, I, you know, in the old days with a fax machine, I know that you know people used to send thousands of faxes, and I used to do it as well. And you could plaster the whole team room in them. I don't know how it works over social media, but my point being, <laughs> you've got a lot of support back here, mate. He really, I mean, the team really has. People are just itching for this quarterfinal. Yeah, thanks, Martin. You know, the boys are, you know, that driven, you know, to um, you know bring the World Cup trophy back to back to NZ. Um, you know, there's been they've missed out a lot. On over the last couple of years, so the boys are, and the coaching staff are driven to, um, you know, uh, bring that trophy back to uh, back to NZ's where it belongs. So, uh, thanks for your time.